Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pen series. My name is Jos Oppelboom and every Monday we post a new video about the personal Top 3 Pens of Penfluencers. If you do not want to miss out on a video, subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Are you keeping a journal or maybe thinking about starting one? It is a great way to combine your love for fountain pens with a very practical and wholesome hobby. For those of you who think journals are just boring books where you schedule your tasks and write to-do lists, think again. Today we like you to meet Melissa, who is taking the art of journaling to a whole other level. Her journal pages are artworks in itself. She uses all sorts of materials such as stamps, washibi tape and of course fountain pens. So when you're done watching this video, make sure to open your Instagram and have a look at the beautiful pages of A Court of Wings and Journals. Hi everyone, my name is Melissa and I'm A Court of Wings and Journals on Instagram and Applebaum has kindly asked me to talk about my top three favorite fountain pens. And we're gonna start off with the Pilot Prera. This was one of the first pens I ever bought. Um, it's a very comfortable pen. It's fairly small and I have pretty small hands, so I can comfortably write with it posted or unposted. So that's always a plus. And the nib is just really smooth and really nice to write with. And I believe this one's a medium. And the next pen on my list is a Twisby Eco. And this particular one is, or was, a limited edition in Japan, I believe. And I think the color was called Sunset Orange, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And I love the Twisby Eco. It is one of my favorite budget pens. It has a Give you big ink capacity, it looks nice, it's a demonstrator, and I love all of the limited edition colors that comes out. And all of the nib sizes have been really consistent and write quite wonderfully. So I usually always have one inked up in my currently inked pen case. This one does have a Knox broad nib because I accidentally broke the original nib on it, but it still writes beautifully and I still love it. And it's just all around a great pen and I think everyone should try one. And last but not least is my Platinum 3776 and I was a little afraid to get this pen, to be completely honest. It is, I think it's the first gold nib I've ever owned. And I was really afraid to buy it because it's so expensive. And I think it's the most expensive pen I have. But I really love the color of this one. I think this one's called Nice Lavender. I believe that's the color. But it's just this really beautiful purple with gold. Um, accents and I love it but it I was a little afraid because it would be my first gold nib and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it and that's always my concern when I buy more expensive pens because I've had some pens that don't write nicely and have been really disappointed that I bought them and I don't know if that's because I'm left-handed or because I have a weird grip or a combination of both, but there's a lot of pens that a lot of people love that I just can't write with, unfortunately. But I was pleasantly surprised by this one and it has become one of my all-time favorite pens. Plus again, I love the color, so it works out well. So I hope you enjoyed this short video in all three of my um, top three pens. And thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.